Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and one of the best things about Android is its customization. And I'm not talking about just changing your wallpapers or adding widgets or changing your ringtone. I mean changing the entire user interface to suit your needs. And you can actually do this by downloading an Android launcher. And here's how you do it. Now you might have many reasons for downloading and installing a launcher. It might just be that your phone came with a very heavy Android skin, which means you'd rather have something a little bit more like stock Android. And for that instance, you want something like Google Now Launcher. But if you want to have more control over everything on your screen from icon sizes to how many apps are on the home screen, you can download something like Nova Launcher, but there are many other options. Now for this tips video, I want to show you using Google Now Launcher, but I will show you a few others at the end of the video as well. But then actually setting the launcher as your default way of navigating the phone can differ depending on which phone you're using. With most Android phones, you simply head to settings and then hit home and then choose the launcher that you want to use. Obviously after you've downloaded it. But for other devices, it can be a little bit trickier than that. Using Huawei's EMUI software, you have to head into Settings and then Apps, then tap the Advanced Cog on the bottom bar and select Default App Settings. On the next screen, you'll see a list of all the apps you can set defaults for. Select Launcher and choose the Google app or whichever other launcher you downloaded. Now, Oppo similarly makes it a less than intuitive procedure. In its Color OS system, you head to Settings and then find Additional Settings then hit default applications and then touch the home option. Now you know how to actually install it and use it, it comes down to which one you should actually download and install. And like I said, that depends on what you want from your launcher. The Google Now launcher gives a much more stock Android experience, but there are others. Microsoft Arrow launcher, for instance, automatically detects your most used apps and makes them easily accessible while also giving you separate screens for things like your widgets, tasks or email. Similarly, Yahoo Aviate has a screen for weather, news and other news, as well as apps automatically grouped into categories. And one that I've already mentioned is Nova Launcher. It's one of the most popularly downloaded launchers for Android. It lets you change so many elements of the user interface. You can change how many rows or columns of apps appear on the home screen or app drawer. You can change their size, even customize the search bar as well as the app drawer opening animation, among many others. What's more, you can also customize each individual icon by downloading custom third-party app icon packs. Basically, if you can see it on your home screen, you can change it. Now, whatever the reason for you downloading a launcher, there's bound to be one there for you. You just have to go and find them. I'll include a link to some of the ones that I like and the ones that I've tested in the description box down below, so you can check those out. Most of them are free to use. Now, if you'd like us to show you how to do anything else with your device, please do leave your suggestions in the comments section down below, and we might get to it in our video next Tuesday. Don't forget, if you do like our videos, please do hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you again soon.